Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. I just got fierce eye shine coming back off it. The Fusa has a long, lithe, elegant form, but its ferocity gives it the power of an animal many times its size. This is my first time face to face with a Fusa, and suddenly I'm not sure if I want to be this close. Fusa will take on prey at least as big as themselves, and she's clearly not frightened of me. This is such a rare sight. We are so lucky. And I think she's heading towards... She's going to head towards the garbage. She is. She's heading towards the rubbish tip. Look at that. As she leaves, she drags scent glands around her bottom along the ground, so other Fusa will know she's been here. And that's the path to the rubbish. She's heading off that way. She disappears off into the darkness and vanishes. Has she given us the slip? Is there somebody checking out the other path in case of double back? It's all hands on deck. We really want to find that Fusa. Just as we thought, she's at the rubbish pit, not even remotely bothered by the sound of our noisy generator. To find out more about these rare animals, scientists put radio collars on some of them, and you can see one around this female's neck. This maybe seems like a weird place to encounter a Fusa. They're known as being ferocious hunters and killers. But they're not stupid. They get the chance of an easy meal, then they'll take it. And right here, this rubbish tip is full of protein-rich food and also the cockroaches that feed on it. And right now, all she's doing is saving herself the energy of having to hunt. And now she's heading off into the thorn thicket. And I, unfortunately, I don't think I can follow her through there. It's much too dense. I can't believe we got our first glimpse of a Fusa. But it's late, so we call it a night.